This video will go through how to calculate amount concentrations. This format is the most important for scientists. We have to do our calculations in the following units using moles, and that's why this format is more useful than either percent or parts per million, parts per billion, which have no moles involved in their calculation. The definition, amount concentration, includes moles in it. In chemistry, the word amount means moles. So if you are ever asked, what is the amount of calcium? It does not mean mass. It means how many moles there is of something. And that is new vocabulary to use for most students. You think of amount meaning mass, but not in chemistry. Okay. So amount concentration is calculated by using the moles of solute divided by the total volume of solution. The numerator will always be calculated in moles and the denominator will be always calculated in liters. It is very common for the denominator to be given to you in milliliters and you would need to convert it. Expressed as a formula using singular letters, concentration equals N divided by V. I'm going to go through two examples in this lesson. The first example, what is the amount concentration? So that's the wording that you'll see for moles per liter of a 250 mL aqueous solution containing 25.2 grams of sodium chloride. So concentration equals, we have to use the moles per volume format. The moles is not given in the question, nor will it ever be given in a typical question. There is no device that measures moles. Okay? We can measure mass and convert it, but there is no mole scale. You will be a very rich person if you could invent such a device. The volume is given in the question, just in the incorrect units. We need the volume in liters okay. to convert milli to liters. That's one of those one prefect switches, which is a thousand times, and this is a divide by a thousand. So 0 0.25, and then there's two more significant zeros that I have to include, 2500 liters. To get moles from a pure substance, we have to divide the mass of that pure substance divided by the molar mass. Okay. We have 25.2 grams of sodium chloride. When I say it's pure, I just mean all of the 25.2 grams are sodium chloride, divided by the molar mass. Okay. We have to make sure we have the correct formula unit for sodium chloride so we can add up the correct number of sodium ions and chloride ions. Sodium is plus one. Chloride is minus one, so that formula unit is balanced with one of each. So when you add up the mass of one sodium and one chloride, you calculate 58.44 grams of sodium chloride per mole of sodium chloride. So that's going to equal 0 0.428 moles. Okay. Now that number is expressed to the correct number of significant figures. You would not want to round at this stage, but leave all of those numbers in your calculator and bring them forward to the second part of this calculation. Okay. So now I know my moles, I know my liters, divide those 1.71 moles of sodium chloride per liter of total solution. I'm not going to add the two numbers given in the question together to get the total uh, solution because that's what's given. We weren't told there's 250 mils of solute. We're told the final volume is 250. Okay. And that's what's very common uh, to be given to you. So don't start adding uh, the solute and the solvent because uh, that's not what you're likely to be given. Second example, this one's going to have two parts to it. Again, same initial question, what is the amount concentration? And this time it's going to be of a calcium chloride solute. 
Once we're done that, we'll look at what is the concentration of each ion. So very similar layout. Concentration equals moles divided by volume. And we need to calculate moles. I'll do that first and then combine it with the volume. Moles equals mass over molar mass for anything that is pure. Okay, and that 2.25 grams of calcium hydroxide is just calcium hydroxide. Okay. Next, I need to get the correct formula unit for calcium hydroxide so I can get the correct molar mass. Calcium is group 2. It's a 2 plus ion. Hydroxide is OH minus. It's a polyatomic ion. You do not have to memorize the charge of hydroxide. It is in the polyatomic ion table in your orange data booklet. Uh, plus 2 and minus 1 does not balance. We need to increase the negative charges to get to negative 2. So I'm going to have to double that polyatomic ion. Okay. So to get the molar mass of calcium hydroxide, I have 1 calcium, 2 oxygen, and 2 Hs. In total, we have a mass of 74.10 grams of calcium hydroxide per mole, and this solution has 2.25 grams of solute. That is going to give us 0 0.0304 moles. Okay. Again, I've rounded it to the correct number of significant figures, but you'd want to keep all the figures in your calculator. The three significant figures are the ones with the blue check mark above them. Okay. So I can combine our moles that we figured out with our volume and calculate our amount concentration. So we have that many moles divided by my volume. I have to convert it to liters again, 0 0.2500. Okay. We have three significant figures on the top. We have four on the bottom. So that is going to give us a concentration but I'm just double checking on my calculator. Of 0 0.122 moles per liter. Okay. Now you should be expecting questions like this on a test or exam. A common error would be for students to use calcium hydroxide incorrectly to use this wrong formula unit and get a wrong molar mass. Second part, what is the concentration of each ion? Okay. So this concentration we just solved for is for the formula unit together. Okay. To solve this, we need to break calcium hydroxide apart. This would be a dissociation equation. So calcium hydroxide together will dissociate into calcium 2 plus ions and hydroxide ions. Okay. When the hydroxide ions are separated, sorry, just you're going to get two of them. What we calculated is the concentration at the beginning. I know I wrote uh, solid there. I'll fix that. But that solid is referring to moles of solid in the total volume. So that was 0 0.122 moles of solid divided by volume. Okay. When that breaks up, every one calcium hydroxide unit turns into one calcium ion unit. Okay. 
sort of mathematically calculate the calcium ion, we multiply by the required coefficient. I'm going to trying to figure out calcium ions, which is a one, and divide by the given unit, there's one calcium hydroxide. A lot of students will not do this mathematically. They'll notice one coefficient for the reactant producing one coefficient for that ion. It's going to be the same amount. Okay, so we're going to have 0 0.122 moles of calcium ions per liter. Okay, now I've got to repeat this calculation for the other ion. Okay, first off, even without using any formula, just looking at it, you get two hydroxide ions for every one formula unit. Okay? So we're seeing a doubling in this ion, and that's what the math is going to also give us. Okay? Okay? Format is take the original amount multiplied by the required coefficient, which is two, divide by the original coefficient, which is a one, and there's our doubling. Okay? Doing this required divided by given coefficient is really handy when the coefficients are threes and sevens, and you're not sure is that three over seven or seven over three. Required over given, we'll make sure you set it up correctly. Okay. So our concentration of uh, hydroxide ions is going to be the doubling, okay. 0 0.243 moles per liter. Okay. Now, it doesn't look like an exact doubling from the red, but I used the original number in my calculator, pre-rounded, and doubled that pre-rounded number, which is why you're seeing that last digit, the 2, not doubling to a 4. Okay. So that is our concentration of all our ions, using the dissociation equation that we've learned about earlier in this course. Again, this is the most important format for Chem 30 and for our next unit in Chem 20. So you students need to have a very thorough understanding of this format. The percent format and the part per million, part per billion format will not carry forward to the next unit, nor will we use it in Chemistry 30. Percent and part per million, part per billion is what you see in the consumer world. You go to the drug store, the grocery store, and you buy vinegar. Okay, you buy hairspray. Uh, you look on a bottle of bottled water. You will see percent and part per million, part per billion units. Okay, again in consumer products. Uh, please make sure you look at the homework questions on D2L for this section.